Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We have a Pokelit announcement to make. The Pokemon company has just announced that they've installed five new Pokelids in the ground in a prefecture called Wakayama. Now in this video, I'm going to show you exactly what they look like and give you a little bit of an insight in what locations are around each of the lids. Now I have no plans to go to this location just yet, but if you want me to go and find these lids in person, then make sure you like this video because the video that gets the most likes is the location that I'm going to be going for my next Pokelit event. So you guys dictate where I head off to. Now, before we get into the video, I just came back from my mailbox and I just picked up these Pokemon cards, which came from the Pokemon Center. I've been buying a lot of them lately, but check this out. This one from the Yokohama Pokemon Center. This one from the Sapporo Pokemon Center. And this one from, well, I just thought it was a cool Pikachu. It did come from Pokemon Center. It looks like a booster box, but... Yeah, I started collecting a little bit of Pokemon cards. I might do a Pokemon card video in the future to show you what my collection is starting to look like. So subscribe if you want to see that. Anyways, now let's get into the Poke Lid. First off, lights on. Now the Pokemon company decided to install five new Poke Lids, adding up to numbers 338, 39, 40, 41, and 42. 342 Poke Lids all in Japan. And these five are in Wakayama, which is nearby Osaka. So if you fly to Kansai Airport, you're actually really close to Wakayama. Anyways, enough of all that. Let's get right into the lid. Look at those five lids. They don't have a specific Pokemon where it's on every single lid, but even without a constant Pokemon, I think these are some beautiful lids. First one we're going to talk about is none other than Nachikatsura or the Celebi lid. So you can see right here, the Nachikatsura lid has Celebi and a waterfall, beautiful green, beautiful colors. Now, first glance, why Celebi on it? I'm pretty sure it's because it's Gen 2 Legendary. Why do I say that? Because the Jolto region is based off the Kansai region, which houses Osaka, Kyoto, uh, Nara, and now Wakayama. Well, not now, it's there, it's always been there, but now there's lids there. And if we quickly go into it, the Kinki region, which is the Kansai region, has lids in Kyoto, Osaka, Nara, Wakayama, Hyogo. Check this out. Kyoto, if we go into it really quickly, has ho on it, right? Osaka has Raiku. Hyogo has Luhia. Nara has Entei. And Tokushima has Suikun, which is a little lower than the Kansai region, but still. So all that leaves us with our final legendary Pokemon, which happens to be Celebi. Now, right away, we can see the location of the Celebi lid is very much in the wilderness. It seems very far away, but I did see on the lid that there was a bunch of water, or at least a waterfall on it. So you, you can see on the lid, there's a waterfall there, and I'm assuming that that must be a waterfall nearby the lid. So if the lid is right here, I think Nachi waterfall might be what's on the lid. And absolutely looks beautiful. If I ever go there, if you like this video enough, we will check out this waterfall. All right, the next lid is in Kushimoto, like a rocket ship in the background here. Looks like Cleffa's in the front and Elgium, very psychic related. I wonder if they're famous for anything rocket ship psychic. I don't know, because you have a night sky in the background. You have Magnezone up here and Deoxys is hidden here, so psychic magnetic it's a very interesting uh lid we have going here i wonder if they're famous for rocket ships let me check that really quickly well it looks like kushimoto has a spaceport key it's a rocket launch site built in december of 2021 so if we check where the lid's located it's located right here by the waterway and the spaceport is all the way over here so that's quite a ways away but i mean if this video gets enough likes maybe we'll go to the spaceport as well because obviously the lid is definitely showcasing that rocket ships and space is famous in the area. So we have to check it out. Maybe Clef is on there because it's all about that Moonstone and the Moon family. Maybe they're famous for going to the moon. Who knows? The next lid in Wakayama is in Shirahama and Shirahama is all about being by the ocean. I've never been to Shirahama, but right away, it looks amazing. You got a Pancham just going crazy in the front and a Finizen right here. looks like they're starting to put a whole bunch of new Pokemon on these lids. And if we go a little deeper in the map, we see its location right here. Not by the water, actually. I expected it to be by the port, but it's not. You're actually on the train line. The, this train looks like it will get to the lid. Yeah, it's at the train station. It's at Shirohama Station. So not the worst in the world in, those, in terms of locations to get to. But then after you get to it, 
Uh, I guess you should stay at some of these resorts. It looks very luxurious. Sort of costs a lot, but at the same time, why not relax in one of these locations? Maybe this is where I'm going to have to stay if I go down there. Also, there's Adventure World, which seems cool. Anything adventure or Disneyland-like could always be fun. And look, Adventure World has pandas. Maybe that's why Panchams on there. <laughs> it's so fun piecing this all together immediately. So yeah, this lid, pretty cool. Look at this emotion right here. I gotta find it. Maybe that is a famous location in the water I should look for. Just randomly, I found there's an airport here. Maybe I could fly there too. There's a plateau. No, there's a cliff. No, there's a beach. Wow, beautiful white beach. What's this? Ah, found it. This is on the lid. What is it? It's a uh, tourist attraction. Looks like a little island with a little walkway underneath. Ocean made bridge of rocks that you might not be able to get to. I wonder if you could walk out there. Looks fun. Let's save this in our location to go to. It's so far from the lid, but it's on the lid. So that in itself, I must find. Next lid on the way, it is in Koya. And Koya has one Pokemon on it, and it looks like a sunshiny place. Maybe it rains a lot and it happens to have sun rays coming through the clouds. But Urshifu's there. And Urshifu, new Pokemon. Definitely really cool. It's not even facing you on the lid, though. It's looking towards the sun. Let's check out where this is located. Looks like it's by the museum. So you can learn something about Koyasan Reihokuen Museum. It seems very countryside because there's a lot of temples here. A lot of temples here. Maybe that's why Urshifu's on it. And look, there's even a route to do a pilgrimage. I think if I ever visit this area, I go for a hike in the mountains or go to these temples because there's quite a bit of temples here. But if I zoom out, check it out. It looks like one of the harder ones to get to. I think I'm gonna need a car. And just to find out what it's famous for, it looks like it's for majestic temples and rich nature, which made sense. I saw a whole bunch of temples and nature when we clicked all those areas. The only thing that I didn't really understand, as you see this site has beautiful visions and images, is why is Urshfu on it? Like, check it out. See that lid? There's no temples on there. It's like wasteland. Very interesting lid. I'd love to learn more about it. And finally, the last lid of Wakayama is in, well, Wakayama. Literally the city, which is nearby Wakayama Castle. So of course I want to go to the castle. And maybe this Tain Garden over here looks beautiful in the fall time, maybe. We'll say we want to go there too. On the lid, we have Primarina on a looks like an iceberg and Luxray sitting there staring but there's musical notes so I wonder if it's famous for music or something plus there's ocean let's back up a little bit I don't mm, I guess you could say it's by the ocean if you go this way there's ocean and there is a waterway so I put in what it is Wakayama known for and uh well we get all these Nachi Falls, which is on one of the lids, Shirahama Beach, which also was on one of the lids, Mount Koya, which was in Koya, not on the lids, but Koya-san, definitely the location was on the lids. The Wakayama Castle is famous in this area, it looks like. It's not on the lid, but it's right next to where the lid location is. What I found out nearby the lid is this hallway right here, the Wakayama Jo Hall. Looks like it's a music hall, concert hall. That could be why Primarina is right here on the lid. The music notes. Because the lid is literally right, right next to it. You see that? Very close. Those are the cool locations. And there's a Castle Park Zoo you could probably check out. But yes, those are the five lids of Wakayama. Five new lids, now 342 lids all over Japan. And I'm stuck at 231. So I have a long way to go now. Which one's your favorite? Leave in the comment section down below which one was your favorite. Personally, my favorite is the Celebi lid. I really love the green and the nature with the waterfall. So I can't wait to find that one in real life. Let me know, should I go to these? Should I not? Of course, I'm gonna try to go to them, but should I go to them next? Like this video if you want me to go to them in my next trip. And I'll see you guys in the next video.